What's up guys, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Blake and I are hopping into episode 5 of season 5 of Breaking Bad. We're having the forbidden 3 episode watch session. Been a long uh -huh. time since we've done that. Uh, the last time we did that, I mean, it, it might have been necessary at that point. Like, you, you were, yeah. you had to go somewhere for a period of time <laughs> and we're going to be able to record. But now we're, we're just doing it, you know, we're powering through and uh, Breaking Bad is at its peak right now. It's peak season, so it, it's a good time mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, last episode, Skyler, uh, Skyler doing Skyler things, uh, hopping in the freezing water, acting like she's gonna drown herself. She she wasn't. She wouldn't be able to do it. Um, and yeah, she got the kids out of the house. That's what she wanted. Scared of Walt. Um, and she said some pretty messed up things. I mean, we we can't act like. Walt hasn't done a lot of crime. Skylar's obviously helped him. Who has more blood on their hands at this point? Walt. But Walt. Skylar is also a guilty. I mean, yeah. She, she, she has tolerated it, which is Blake's main point. You can't just, like, you know, fold now. You see people dying. You realize your man isn't just the cook he is the one who knocks he he is the one who runs people over who runs over deers excuse me he is the one who um i mean i guess straps a pipe bomb to an old man's wheelchair and blows up the chicken man yeah uh and then you got lydia who in her paranoia is just i, I don't know man she's just seeming very very stressed out she's trying to get Mike to go away, put the uh, the Garmin tracker on the barrel. So Mike's not very thrilled about that. He he was gonna go end her. Jesse did not want that. And uh, yeah, I mean, there there wasn't like a lot of events that happened last episode, but the main event that did happen, the showdown in the bedroom between Walter and Skyler, was pretty intense. One of the biggest arguments we've seen in the show to this point so yeah. uh anything you'd like to add nope a lot of diesel we're we're cooking with gas thank god ryan johnson's gone until later so ready to go all right let's go if you guys end up liking this reaction make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date check the description below the video for a link to our patreon we have the full length reaction over there and we have early access to some series of movies we also have links to our social media and a discord you can join up chat with us Let's go. Yeah. He has some hang time on that one. They were in their bag with these camera angles. <laughs> we throwing it back to episode one? Nope, oh. don't like that. What the? No! Stop it. No! What? Can't believe you just picked that up, dude. Absolutely not, brother. <laughs> no. Hey man, look at the sad sack I found whooping around the lobby. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey there, Walt. Hey there, buddy. Hey, Walt, look at that. Jesus, Walt. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let me see that. Wow. That's beautiful. Gonna, uh, <laughs> hey, you remember Pinkman? Uh, yeah. Something else on your mind there, Walt? Well, my failing like marriage. <clears throat> my illegal side gig. My kingpin position. Cheating wife? Skyler doesn't love me anymore. Oh, that would be the one. And I don't know what to do, Hank. I don't. This is Heisenberg. She. <laughs> Hank's like, what? She uh... says that I'm a bad influence on the kids. What do I do? And, uh, and I'm not. Not good for them. Oh, Jesus. Walt. No. I, th I think you're great with the kids. I think you're great with the kids. I, I, you're a provider. Um, uh, a role model? Hell, the guts you showed uh, uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with cancer, let alone, that's, that's, 
was an inspiration to me, you know. Kingpin I, I, shit. I made mistakes, you yeah. know. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a coffee. You want, you want a coffee? Like, a <laughs> he cup, can't coffee. handle it, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a moment to, to just get it together. He there. can't um, handle it. Hank, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Watch, he's gonna walk out. He's gonna walk out the door, and it's gonna be like a, like a flip switched. What? A switch flipped. Bro. Am I a god? What? Yeah, you, you two are really great together. Hey, take it from me, buddy. So he's darkest just before the dawn. Oh. Speaking of darkest just before the dawn. <laughs> Want to play a game? If you yell for help, try to give the man some kind of coded message or otherwise tip him off. I'm gonna pull out my pistol and shoot you in the head. If you make Schrader suspicious, tell me what's gonna happen next. You'll pull out your gun and shoot me. And where will I shoot? In the head. That's important. That's right. <laughs> it's a pistol, not a gun. I noticed a device on the bottom of one of our barrels of methylene. Set that barrel aside for me, if you would, and uh, I'll look into it and get back to you. And uh, in the meantime, mum's the word, all right? Yeah. All um right. sure is the word. Okay, great. Hey, go me, come here, would you? Yeah. Hey, man. You don't know anything about GPS trackers on a methylene barrel, do you? No. I'm here from my team planet. Anything? Why? Oops. I, I know what you're thinking, but but I didn't do it. I'm telling you, I didn't plant that thing. Shut up. And there you have it. Like I said. No. 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 You, you're making a mistake. This this was not me. I I swear to God, I didn't do it. I don't know, man. Sounds like she's telling the truth to me. She has a gun to her head, kid. You're the one who wanted to put it up to a vote. It's two against one. And. Hey, Errol. Please tell me you guys didn't do something as lame brain as put a GPS tracker on the outside of a barrel of methylamine. One of your marks for the medical warehouse in Houston. Uh, who's asking? Did, did someone find him? <laughs> Shitting me. We, we didn't have time to go in there with hazard suits, Hank. They, they were about to ship. Mike was wrong. The bottom. They were well hidden. I, I just. Oh, really? Well, not well hidden enough. Wow. I saved you. If it weren't for me, we'd all be in jail right now. <laughs> I hate to say it, but she's. She got she's point. Right. Yeah. She saved our asses. By yeah. That thing. The woman put a hit out on me. Like the mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you still need meth for me, don't you? Right? You can't even get us a single barrel. Who said anything about barrels? I'm talking about an ocean of the stuff. I swear on your children's lives that I won't be harmed. Otherwise, how can I trust you? Look, you're talking you're to a pathological liar here. You understand the concept of leverage? Please don't patronize me. I hate that. You have none. How does twenty-four thousand gallons sound? Like a lot of meth. A freight train leaves the port of Long Beach, loaded with industrial chemicals. We heard a train Resolves at the end of the episode. Tanker car full yeah. Of There's a remote three-mile stretch here in McKinley County. That's where you do it. Where we do what, exactly? Get your meth me. You ever play like GTA 5? Like Jesse James? I'm taking a huge risk. Supplying this information. I expect to be paid. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> How many in the crew? Just two. An engineer and a conductor. Assuming there are no security guards. No guards. I have done this long enough to know that there are two kinds of heist. Those where the guys get away with it, and those that leave witnesses. <sighs> Give me a break. You guys Gee, would you me. look at the time? I thought you were professionals. Heist. <laughs> A-sack. Can you say that? Say A-sack Schrader. If those turn out to be her no. first words. I will beat you with my shoe. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Holly. What about Emo McGee? Does he come out of his room today? Emo McGee. Emo McGee. <laughs> he barely talks. Oh. Flynn, do you want me to heat Flynn? up some Flynn. of that lasagna? That's a throwback. You can keep talking about me now. Oh. We do it the old fashioned. Left for dead. Left for dead. Wait. 
Oh so my God! It is the hand. Yo. Yo. About a dozen skulls and put them to work smurfing cold pills. Can't so si back to measure the size of this the dub. Chemistry. And it sounds like what you're telling me, Walter, is that you want to do this heist, even if it means killing a couple of innocent men. What if we can rip off that train, and no one ever knows it got robbed? Bro. He's in his bag again. Magnet. Oh shit! It'll come from that direction. I've seen this. Remember the one train heist in Red Dead Two? Yes. Oh, age fourteen. Wait. Wow. Have I been Wait, here? How'd you be here? What if they're not north yeah. of Albuquerque? What's your name again? Todd. Todd. On the day, are you going to be able to make this climb? Yes, sir. Be ready. Well, I get why we want the tank for the methylene, but why this other one for the water? Well, it's, uh, it's all about the weight, yo. <laughs> the tanker we're going to hit gets weighed once when it gets loaded in Long Beach, and then again when it's unloaded in Texas. No one other than us can ever know that this robbery went down. Nobody. You got it? Bro's dead. Yeah. Absolutely. But won't they figure out they got robbed anyway on account of getting watered down methylene? They will blame China for sending a marginally weaker batch. Damn, you guys thought of everything. Knock on wood, bro. Flynn. We stop calling him Flynn. Flynn, open the door. What's going on? Got what you wanted, that's what. Congratulations. Take that L. It's me, open up. He's the one who knocks. What's going on? Why can't anybody tell me anything? I want one good reason. Because we're your parents and you're our child. That's reason enough. Now please do as I ask. I'll keep your secrets, but the kids will stay at Hank and Marie's where they have a chance of being safe. Uh, you're visiting a therapist from Rio Rancho, Peter. Last name, it's up to you. Out burying bodies? <laughs> Robbing a train. <laughs> She's like, oh, I didn't expect a real answer. We're not going to derail it. Wait. Is that my boy Bill Burr? That's your boy Bill Burr. Hey Wallace, up ahead! What if you boost the wrong train car? Well, they calculated the distance and uh, had Lydia giving them like what number in order that it is, so. I'd say they have a fair shot. Yeah, they probably would have messed that up if Walt wasn't so good at math. Nerd. There's no way this goes off without a hitch. Milwaukee, good choice. to go <laughs> oh he's not even pushing you did remember to put it in neutral right yeah man give me give me a little credit <laughs> i feel like those guys are gonna die man you sure you're not out of gas oh i got a full tank here even worse What if Bill Burr dies? Bro pulled up in the Sand King. Hey, you know anything about engines? Uh, not a whole lot. Push off the tracks at least. 
Ah. Duck. Walter, we've got a good Samaritan on the seat. You pull your guys off that train right now. We're not done yet. Just take it, bro. Just take it. The track is clear, Walter. I said get out of there. Just take 900. It's all good. They are back in the locomotive. If you do not abort right now, you are going to get us all busted. Bruh. One moment, please. He stresses me out, dude. Ready? Yeah. He's edging. Oh my god. I forgot that happened. Something had to have gone wrong, bro. Yeah? Is there barbed wire in this movie? Oh. <gasps> hey. Dude. Todd, bro. Todd sold. Without a second thought. No witnesses. Oh my God. I. I can't even believe that just happened. I think that was everyone's reaction when they first watched this episode. I mean, oh my God. That's about as shocking of a twist as Gale. You just, you're introduced to this kid at the beginning of the episode riding his dirt bike. No, picks up a tarantula. A little weird. We don't like those. But, uh, you know, he's, he's chill. He's a bro. And uh, somehow, some way, they, they cut it close, but they pulled off the train heist. No one saw him. No witnesses. They, they got the amount they wanted. They replaced it with water. And uh, then this kid's there on the dirt bike. And that's crazy. It's odd, man. He's just too, too quick with it. That is so crazy, bro. I mean, disgusting on one side, but on the other side, like, I guess props to Todd. I mean, if you're going strictly by, I guess, don't get caught, you know, no witnesses, like, like Mike said, then, yeah, I mean, but at the same time, it's a kid. So yeah. you, were, you were successful at the train heist. But were you really successful if you had to kill a kid? No. Because no. the plan was for nobody to die. That was Jesse's plan. You know, he was there playing with the straw, letting the, uh, his drink drain out of it. That's what, that was his inspiration. I, I'm sure you've noticed over time, Jesse has gotten smarter and smarter. He's picked up things from Walt. But now he, he's also, like, chiming in his own ideas, like, with the magnet, and now a way to, uh, for, for the train heist, getting the methylamine, replacing it with water. So for his plan to be successful, it, they're just getting to celebrate, and for that to be stripped away, 
uh, we, we all know how much like Jesse cares about kids. Like he he yeah. loves Brock. Like he's his own. That's, so that's gonna be tough. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know how we recover from that. But that's tough, man. That is tough. I gotta sneeze. Bless you. Thanks. So, circling back to uh, Skyler. Yeah. I, man, I just cannot. I can't sympathize with her. I cannot sympathize with her. So, I feel bad for the situation she's in, but I don't feel bad for her because she, uh, like I said, made her own bed. So yeah. I'm not going to rip into her too much this episode. There, there will be um, more opportunities. Oh, good. We, so we still have 11 more episodes. Okay. Um, that heist was sweet. Yeah. Heist was sick. It was kind of neat. Just like, uh, Watching that shake out and everything. Um, GTA style, Red Dead style. A lot of those train crossings in New Mexico, I noticed. I, I just drove through there uh, again for the second time in like four months. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Those bridges are still wooden. It's pretty cool. And so I remember when I was driving through there and I noticed that. I'm like, wow, that's shocking. Um. And so odds are there's a million of those train crossings that are still wood in New Mexico. Those are probably built well over a hundred years ago, right? Like probably back in the 1800s. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, uh, depending on where that was shot, I could have been there, but if it's North of Albuquerque, probably not. <laughs> um, anything else like significant happened in that episode? We had junior pretty pissed off. Yeah, Emo McGee. Emo McGee. That was funny. I'll give him that. The train heist was filmed at a location just off US 285 and Spur Ranch Road. The location is probably one of the furthest from Albuquerque. North or south? Uh, it doesn't give a direction. It just says off US 285 and Spur. If you look up Spur Ranch Road, you probably get a good idea where it is. Spur Ranch North of Albuquerque, so nope, haven't been there. Just very similar looking. Very similar looking. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's really all I got. Unless you have something. No, I mean that, that was a fun episode, and then at the end it has that twist that just makes your jaw drop like you can't believe yeah. it. So that was nuts. Yep. Nuts. All right, plug you. If you guys like that reaction, make sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, check the description for Patreon, full length reaction there, early access, links to social media, discord, see you next time. Oh, shit.